Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome back to Stranded Alien Dawn. I've been... Hear that? I've been sitting here for a while getting ready to start the episode, and I kept hearing these noises, these rumbles, and kind of guttural... Yeah, and booms in the distance, and this place would be creepy to sleep at at night. I've looked around. I don't see any animals that are immediately nearby. I mean, it seems to be centered on, you know, this space right in here, but I went up to these guys. Don't hear anything. I went down here. I've got the, the music turned off. Uh, where am I? I'm lost. These guys aren't snoring. Well, I guess they are. <laughs> They've done a great job with the sounds in this game. But those booms. The booms might be the, the constant barrage of meteorites that are crashing onto the planet. I don't see any now, but I've been watching quite a few of them. Huh. Just sitting here enjoying the sudden wind that comes up. But there is a rumble in this mountain. Come up here. There's a meteorite. Water. Crickets like crazy. No more booms. Nothing out of these guys. But yet when I go back down there, that was those it's the noise that I've been kind of randomly hearing the last few episodes. There's something down here. I think there's something alive under this this ground here. I don't know. <laughs> Wow, creepy. Anyway, let me head over here and reset my sounds and we'll get this thing going. Okay, now sounds are back to what they used to be, but yeah, that is, that is wild. There's a lot more going on with this game than, than we get from a normal episode, if you can just sit back and enjoy the ambiance. But, um, turn my speakers down a little bit all right let's get into this hey folks <laughs> so we are day eight still in the middle of the night let's turn the timer on turn our pictures back on and where are we one one in the morning okay everyone's sound asleep and i had an interesting comment come in i'm not sure who kk is but your grandma's really smart oh hello she said how about putting a fence around this, like, you know, like a shooting range? That'll keep them from shooting right through the camp at it or cross the entire field. Sure, that's a great idea. So that'll give us something to do while we're waiting for the daylight to come up. Um, now, where would that be? We're not in buildings. We're in defense. Defense. Defense is in defense. Uh-huh. <laughs> um, what's the height of a stick fence? Let me zoom down here a bit. That's not high enough to do any good. I think they'll shoot right over it. Um, I hate to build with the kind of materials that it takes to do something like this. That would certainly hide it. I could make it a narrow little corridor. I guess it wouldn't have to be very deep either. In order to get through it, they'd have to be somewhere back over here at least. If we just did a... Oh... I guess we could well do it still they're going to shoot it they're going to destroy it they're going to repair it they're going to shoot it they're going to destroy it they're going to repair it so do i want two or three of these or do we want to just say go for it guys and you're only going to be able to get to it when you're from here to there yeah we'll, we'll play with that one eventually there's that rumbling i guess why well, i thought there was a thunderstorm building last episode it's continuous now That is wild. It's like there is a thunderstorm over the horizon over there. 
and it's just centered right in here. Maybe there is a noise situated with this outcropping of rock that is kind of a rumbling noise, like uh, like landslide or rock a rock slide or something. Like the wind fires up over here, though right now it won't. <laughs> anyway, let's get our dig. Thunderstorm! I'm not crazy! So wild! Like the music we heard a couple episodes ago, right before the day we got attacked, there is a thunder off in the distance that builds up toward, turn it back on, we'll probably see the sky start to cloud up soon. And a thunderstorm is coming in. So let's pause and read this. During this disaster, lightning strikes can damage structures and devices, electrocute survivors and animals, or kill plants. Any lightning strike that hits a stockpile or storage devices causes significant decay to all resources stored inside. Ooh. You can research and build lightning rods to protect camp. Walking in the storm is in the rain is unpleasant, but sleeping soaking wet is outright horrible. Survivors out in the open will have decreased happiness. We're gonna lose Carter today, aren't we? On the other hand, rain is great for plants and boosts their growth. Okay. So there it is. It's starting to build up on the horizon and coming in. Hmm. Lightning rods. That is something that we have to research yet. Research. That is here. Um. I guess let's just get that going. That's the game's way of saying, uh, yo, folks, <laughs> you need to be working on this. Let's make it happen right now it might even be done before we finish off the uh, the storm otherwise we want to get back into is it tailoring we're working on no it was weapons uh yeah something like that once lightning's done or lightning rods are done we'll figure out the rest um we still need to get no we do have these the what do we call those now the buttermelons and did we learn anything buttermelon we didn't read this this local vine plant gives large edible fruit, which have tough peels. It reminds me of pumpkins and melons, so I call it a buttermelon. Ripe buttermelons can be harvested and cooked. They might have some other good uses, too. Hint, hint. I guess maybe that will spawn off some other research. Harvesting and planting is available to us now. Okay. So we did do that here, just never read it right yeah buttermelon field okay so boom rain okay it's here but i'm kind of fascinated to see what the graphics of a thunderstorm are going to look like you'd think there'd be big billowing dark clouds over us and eh, maybe that's still in the works the game is still pretty new they're still building it they've gotten quite uh, quite far into it of course but uh, there's still updates to come but um anyway Simon is wet, soaked, because he doesn't have a coat. Rita does have a coat. She's still soaking wet, though. And Simon was annoyed by Carter. Okay, Carter's getting up. He was. He had the risk of a meltdown last time, but that seems to have gone. Okay. All right, then. Um, I'm waiting for the first lightning strikes to hit. I'm curious to see if the game is smart enough to strike trees and other high points. Oh, the sun has turned into a red glow over there, a blood sun. <laughs> There's no such thing, right? Well, there is if you look at the sun through like a dust storm or something like that, or even through the fog, I've noticed it looks quite red. But are we running? We are running. No one's doing anything. Got into a petty argument with Paulette. All right, guys. Tempers because of the rain, right? We're all just kind of sitting around waiting for something, for, waiting to do something. Pause a second here. I've noticed that they always seem to idle at the beginning of the day. You'd think they'd dive in and grab some breakfast or do some, you know, take a walk, get some relaxation, but they just kind of kill that first hour. Oh no, they're they're due to get up at seven. 
and they're all up waiting for their seven to hit. That might be it. Let's take a look at that. Not activities. Schedule. Let's dial this back by two. We did watch both, I think it was Rita and Carter, sleep right through seven into eight because they hadn't hit 100% yet. So I think that it's safe to say if they're not done sleeping yet, they will continue. But once they do get up, with anything out here, they will trigger, hopefully, to start their next activity. Like that. Alright, that might gain us a little bit more uh, benefit throughout the day if we do that. Um, I haven't noticed a strike yet. Let's get out here and look around. Oh, there's a more significant sun. Uh, zoomed up. The lightning in the sky. Ooh. Look at that show. With a star still showing through it. <laughs> So, is it concentrated? No, we're over here too. And Simon is researching. He's, he's quite fast. So he's going to plow through that pretty quick. We might be able to get one built before the storm is over and maybe even see it in action. A uh, lightning rod. But Carter is constructing fortifications. That's here. We did tear that down. We got a little bit of lumber out of it. Do we... I was tempted to take these trees down, but I kind of like them. Let's leave them here. I was thinking we have some logs right here to build this with. We'll have to travel up into there, but... No, let's go ahead and leave this little clump of trees here. Still haven't seen a strike hit the ground nearby. Maybe it gives us a little bit of a, of a break at first to prepare. Yeah, we'll see. So Rita is planting... She's probably the first one to get hit out there in the open. Carter's building that. Simon is researching. Paulette is handling. Thank you. That's what we set her to do at the end of last episode. Get all of these little homeworks done that we've been putting off. Research lightning rods. Let's go build one. I'll bet it takes metal. Of course it does. Um, power. Lightning rod takes... Oh, scrap metal. It was nice to us. Okay, good. Scrap metal. Where to? Let's protect the homestead. Well, the... the. If that's the homestead up there, what is this? The emergency shelter? Yeah, something like that. Protect that. Oh, it's got a radius. Okay. So if we get out into here... I like that. You're there. Now let's protect Rita when she's at work. Can I put one there? I can. And down a little bit. We'll expand the garden out a little. Yeah, right there. And... Will that say blocking? Oh, because I just clicked. Okay. And then while we're up in this area working... Um, but there's going to be a building right there. Can I, can I put on top of a building? I cannot. You're not that intelligent. Okay. Um, so it's going to take multiples. I can't just drop it in the center because there's going to be a building right there. Hmm. And I'm guessing later we can connect this to the power grid and get a sudden surge of uh, electrical storage. Does that sound logical to you? Does it to me. Carter. Oops. I clicked off screen. Carter. You're here somewhere. Carter, there you are. Can you immediately build this one instead? I want to see that happen. And when you're done, come over here and build this one. And let's watch this happen. And maybe even see a lightning strike off in the distance if we hover about like that. Or where's a better angle? We can watch him build it like this. Let's see if lightning comes down. Oh, moving branch up here. <laughs> kind of fits the ambiance of the storm. But constructing lightning rod. Let's get this in. It seems like it's getting closer. We're oh the 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 fog here, rolling in like like low clouds, and I'm seeing more light on the ground. There it is. Come on, Carter, get that done. Okay. Um. You're going to build the other one? I wonder if we're going to see the strikes kind of move through the map. This is exciting. 
And they're doing their other things anyway, so we're not killing time here, except for the addition of the uh, uh, soaking wet negative six, the addition of the lightning rods. But this one is ready to go. We'll protect our, our storage, our supplies, and our peoples that are nearby. And if we can get this one built, we'll protect everybody else here. Paulette is handling the torches out over there. Okay, Carter. Get it done. Ooh, it's getting close. That was bright. I'm going to back up. I do want to see if we can catch lightning striking either of these lightning rods. Alright, so we've dropped off the supplies. We're clearing construction site. Wait, 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 what? Can you build this? Site is being cleared of what? What am I not understanding here? I don't know. Let's copy. If I drop you here, let's cancel Carter. Build this one instead. What, what, what's the thing here? <laughs> All right, you gonna complain this time? Clearing construction site. I don't understand that one. Well, we'll let him clear his construction site. We'll still keep a good view from this direction, watching the lightning strikes moving in and around us. And maybe it won't hit us at all, I don't know. But now we're building it. Okay. I, did he clear out some butter squash? Maybe that's it. And there it is. It's done. Planting, handling torches going back to building his wall and sounds like the rain just picked up more and my computer just started started uh, all the fans just came on even even higher there for a moment Carter is hungry is he gonna do this same thing as as before where he's just gonna starve himself I wonder what is with that he's unrelaxed too yeah he almost had a meltdown yesterday because of that you are taking a walk. That's your relaxation. And I don't want to tell him to come eat. Let's go ahead and let him take his... Oh, he's taking his walk because it is now noon. Or, yeah, the 12 and, and 1 o'clock hour. Was that it or is it 1 and 2? Schedule, it is 1 and 2. Okay. And the storm is over. Aha. It was merciful on us this first time. Telling us to get our, our act together. Carter is sitting... Sitting must be a form of relaxation, but let's sit with a meal in our in our hands. How does that sound? Okay, and they were testing the idea right now, and I think that uh, KK's grandma was right. Let's fence around it. They have to stay within a certain area. Now, Paulette, your pistol. 94% integrity. Wish I had thought of getting here in time. You're taking a walk now. And you're going to shoot some more? You're thinking about things. Now you are officially... Well, re that's the symbol for relaxation. So it is different from idling, which is a question mark. So idling does not mean you're relaxing when they get up in the morning. I'm waiting to see if she shoots some more, and I'm curious to find out if that 94% ever went down because she's wearing out her pistol doing all the practicing. If that's the case, I'd rather just practice on bugs than on targets. Keep uh, Carter from having to constantly repair it. What is Carter doing right now? He is repairing a shooting target. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Well, guys, I want to give everybody their own bedroom. And... I'm thinking this shooting target is a little bit of a distraction. Let's work on a different form of relaxation. Yeah, I think so. Let's put a a no on the repairs and a pause on the construct. And let's move on. Insufficient materials, 130. Something is recalculated. But Carter, where'd you go? 
you are now going to get back to building our house. Thank you. Okay, so we'll get back to playing with this guy in a few episodes. Right now, I want to... This is ready to harvest, isn't it? I want to uh, get some, some things accomplished. So you are... Average growth rate is 110%. That was because of the rain, but that's not... Okay, 120%. How come that's still 80? No, no, it was 80. Now it's 100. Okay. Okay. Wow. Take off the distractions and suddenly everybody's doing something. Nice. All right, we need more trees. Which ones do we want to cut down? Let's leave that bush. We can take this bush out, but let's leave that one. And what are you? You're just you're just logs. We've chosen to take that one out, and we're opening up our, our pathway here with a couple of these out. Otherwise, aesthetically, where are we going to start chopping? Almost be nice to plant some and hide this hillside a little bit. Up here blocked our view, but down here might be okay to have some trees. But should we carve into this a little bit and open it up so we can see what's going on? Wherever we cut them, it needs to be near the construction site. So let's do that. Let me get into here a little bit and find some trees that are full grown like that guy. You, though, are our corner. I'll leave you behind. But there's a 30. Cut you down. And 20. Where, where's another 30? You look like a 30. You are. Okay, it's kind of like um, weaponsmithing. Oh, we researched that one too. I'm going to pause. I forgot I didn't uh, didn't add more research. Um, oh, what's the name of the game? I haven't played it for a little while. Something Frontier? Frontier? Well, I'll flash it up on the screen. Anyway, you can go through and selectively cut trees in that game too, which was kind of nice. Um, research. Let's grab it from here instead. Alright, so weaponsmithing is done. We wanted antibiotics. We wanted fuel fermentation. Spaceship deconstruction soon. Tailoring. Let's get jackets. We're, well, hats. Let's get hats. We'll see if that gives a cooling effect. That might help us out. That makes sense. Jackets for winter and hats for summer. I like it. We'll see if that works. Um, weaponsmithing. Is that this bench or is that a new bench? Um, production. I'm not seeing a a um, weapon bench. Science is still just research. Defense. Okay, so let's see if it's in here. Uh, crafting. Nothing new. So what did we just gain by weaponsmithing? It unlocks crafted on workbenches. Bows, crossbows, and spears. Okay, well crossbows take... Alloy, 10 of those, so I can see why that doesn't show up. But we have everything for a bow. And we have everything for a spear. So, let me look at this again. Did I miss a step back? Craft weapons and craft other items. Ah, there you are. So let's go with four of these guys. Give everybody a melee weapon. Four times. Okay. We'll do that. Um... Tailoring is probably going to have its own bench. It's probably going to go here. At least that was a picture of a tailoring bench. So I assume that's what that means. Um, what else? Insect fats. Emergency rations. Pickling might be a good idea. Cereal coffee. What does it give us? Boiled on campfires or cook stoves. Okay. Grain is known to have some stimulative properties when properly tempered with. Um, cereal coffee is not as good stimulant as the common coffee, but does restore some energy in the tired body, and it will slightly improve consciousness, movement, and manipulation. Sign me up. And brewing... Yeah, it will add a happiness bonus, but... What will it do to our productivity? That's, I do. do we want a bunch of drunks staggering around here? Let's go to pickling, make sure we can get, get our foods to uh, last a little longer. But we've already... Oh, we're at the end of the day. 
I need to get somebody researching. No, never mind. We've already got that. Uh, we do have that. So do have we harvested any? We have not. So planting is done. It looks like every slot is filled. Let's wipe these guys out. Harvest, if it will let us. And it will. So harvest those. And these things that are all ready to go on their own, I would imagine Rita will kind of auto-harvest those. But Rita is doing right right now. She is transporting that. Let's have her come directly over and harvest five buttermelons. And then we can get those into our recipes and see what they do this episode. And let's also set these guys up for harvest. We did we did research them. And did we find that it... Uh, raw smoke leaf hides and raw red meat. Okay, so we can choose which of the drying or smoking... Well, drying, I guess it would be. Uh, activities we want to do in this particular drying rack. Okay, so I guess they will automatically do it. I don't see I don't see anything in the sense of orders. How do I say I want only ten? Is that a thing? You, this is what's happening. Click on them doesn't work, and this tells me or I can say yes or no. Select all, deselect all, retrieve. So what I'm what I'm wondering is if we go hunting. Does the meat get used for cooking, or does it go here first? How do we choose? I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Anyway, we're back on. Rita is going to go do that. Simon is transporting. Um, why? He's going to go pick it up and bring it over here. Okay. No, let's reset you. You are too valuable at the research desk. Let's get whatever was next in line. Antibiotics. Pretty soon, who knows? So and so caught a caught the flu or something, and we're in trouble. Um, beyond that, and getting dark, Carter is constructing the floor. Okay, so we've got some pretty good progress going on here. And you have still got some logs over here. I just heard another boom. I really wonder if these. Make a long distance boom on impact. Listening. Don't hear anything. So that must be a no. No. But there was a boom when I was talking. Just kind of random. I don't think it's part of the music. So there's something going on in the, uh, the ambiance. The, uh, there's that rumble again. Another rumble off in this direction. Maybe you guys can hear it, maybe you can't. But with this surround sound, I hear all kinds of things. <laughs> what was that? What was that? Like I said a few episodes ago, zombie games are a bit wild in this studio right now. Anyway. <laughs> so we've got some uh, butter squash. 200. It was 50 per, wasn't it? I think that's what I got. I think she got four out of the five, and she got 200. So we got lots of butter squash. So what can we get Paulette doing with that? Quick recipes. Can we get into a better recipe yet? Oh, we can. Buttermelon pie. Pumpkin pie. Yes, I will take plenty of that for, for mood boosts. Let's keep four of those on at all times. And forever. Always have four of them going. Thank you. But quick recipes. Veggie soup. Is there a way of saying yes? No glitter caps. I thank you, and I'll take four of those. And that probably gives us a good variety of food now. So I'm not eating the same thing over and over again. Um, I'm pretty sure we're, we're not into chef recipes yet. Yeah. And what qualified us for getting into here? Grain and buttermelon. So we need raw meat and chew roots. What? What? Dude! Oh, we haven't built this wall yet. Ah, <laughs> oh, have a ball. <laughs> What's a chew root? I doubt you are a tube plant. What would qualify as that? I've seen berries and other berries and tall grasses. 
and that's ore, which we need to work on soon, too. Oh, will you look at that. Are they... Buttermelon pie. Are you guys over the top of a carcass or something? Or are you just having a little party in the air? It is kind of, uh, I don't know, ominous. At least at night, from a distance. Something's, yeah, they carry in our circling. Um, going to sleep, sleeping, eating, eating. How are we looking right now, mood-wise? Not bad. A little bit of red and a whole bunch of green, so we're in good shape there. All right, so let's actually... I was annoyed by Carter twice. <laughs> oh, that was Simon, right? Yeah. One of them was... Carter was trying to pretend that he wasn't listening to Simon last night. Um, so, Rita, you're well-fed. You had a pleasant walk. Enough food variety. Yeah. Cheerful personality. She has a permanent plus nine, so she unfortunately is probably going to be the last one to get her own bedroom because she's always got this one built in that nobody else has. Though everybody else at this point is doing pretty good. Simon, I guess, doing the least. Um, well fed and target practice. There's a plus 18 for target practice? Okay. Okay. Well, I guess we're back on to the, uh, the target practice thing. Yeah. <laughs> we need the benefit. We need the, uh, the plus there. Okay. Well, in that case, give me... Yep, those... Well, those three right there. And delete those. Oh, this one too. Uh, copy first. Let's do that. And you, okay, click out, you delete, and let's copy you and put you from there to there. Nope, let's try that again. Copy there to there, click. And then copy, well, go ahead and put two of them in and get this finished. They get that much of a bonus. It would be foolish not to have that as a, you know, a happiness bank account always sitting around. And with this, which is what it is repairing it, right? Pull back a little bit. There we are. Um, it was hay. Hay. And that is what this is, and it's ready to go. So we have plenty of hay. In fact, I'm almost tempted to put a little structure with hay storage in it nearby. Does that sound wise? Um, there's other storage. A storage chest. I can tell it to only take. Oh, well, it needs, it needs um, or um, that stuff. What do you call those things? The the metal rods, alloys. Why do you need a metal rod to build a wooden storage chest? Um. Can I put? I can't put hay on a shelf like this, can I? No. It would say construction materials. And hay. So I can't use that, but I'm pretty sure I can use a chest. But we need ore, and we need furnaces. So there's my answer about what's going on here. So antibiotics, and then we've got to get this going. Got to get it. After that, we don't have anything to use the fuel on yet. Oil extraction might have something to do with the antibiotics. I'm not sure. Let's wait till the antibiotics are done and see if it tells me what we have to do to make that. Then we'll make that decision. We are running. We are running. And we told them to start getting up at 4 in the morning. We're at 6. And Simon and Carter are both still sleeping. And no, Rita and Simon, and which means Simon is disturbed. That's just going to be until we, they get their own bedrooms. But Carter and Paulette are now sitting here idling like they usually do, the first ones up. They go straight to work now. I like it. Okay, so you guys do that. Extra noises. 
No, it was like there was a bunch of wind all of a sudden, but I guess it's just random ambiance autosave. Okay, so let's get this area done so we can go back there and concentrate. Um, Paulette is getting these two for that. Oh, she's going to go make some. Okay, so what did she do? She went to go refill the torch or something. Yeah. Okay, so Simon is working on our antibiotics. Paulette is making a variety of meals. And then perhaps, you know what? Let's see something new. Can you make, you can't. Why, not enough resources for spears. We need logs. Paulette, let's put you on a cutting job. Hop in here and cut broadleaf tree. And while you're doing that, let's pick some more and get this job done. You are a 30. And you are a 30. Uh, there. You look like one. Yeah. Let's get maybe 10 in here. Insufficient storage space. Food? What do we just fill up? That looks a little full there. Yeah, we just filled up. Hmm. Let's add meals to this one then. Okay, cooked meals, you'll toss into there as well. That should go away if that's what it was. Uh, not enough for the pie. Okay, it's on the floor. That might, I don't know how long it'll take to, to reset itself. When... All right, let's have Rita, when she puts that down... Oh, trans you're going to do it already. Good. Transporting is in there right ahead of harvesting. So when that is done, that went away. And you're going to do a whole bunch more transporting. Let's get you into harvesting. Am I still on Rita? No. You, let's harvest these guys. And I want some more of these, uh, some of the smoke leaf. Pause. And you're already about halfway. When you're done with that, come on over here and let's get these harvested. Harvest seven smoke leaves. Any more smoke leaves right around this area? We got the trees going on. And Paulette did not do that, did she? She didn't. So after you're done with that, let's have you do that. Okay, put that away. Unrelaxed. Okay, I'm not going to. I'll stop micromanaging you and let you take a uh, take a break. Rita is probably going to get that unrelaxed also. Um, Rita, why don't you go ahead and haul that first? Thank you. Then when you're done, Carter research uh, construction. Good. Um, then you can do the harvest smoke leaf. So Carter can construct that much faster now that he's a, a five, and he. Needs more materials to do these. He is scavenging. No, nope, let's have you get in here and start chopping trees down. So cut that tree. And just the one right now. We're coming up on 10 in the morning. We'll see how long it takes to do that. I'd like for him to get his normal uh, um, relaxation in at 1 when everybody else does. So do we dive straight into... Yeah, we do. We do. Let's go ahead and do the metal refinement. I want to smelt scrap metal or ore in wood-burning stone furnaces uh, to make... There it is. Metal alloys. Now, that's going to take our scrap metal. So, after this is done, we really need the ore researched. So, let's go look around camp, see if we can find any closer ore. This is stone. And that is stone. Ore looks like this. So that is ore. And I know, Noble, stop spinning that camera around. You're going to make me nauseous. So, oh, this thing goes quick. I did speed that up a little bit to be able to move across the map a lot faster. I, I tried to slow down the spin, but I sped up the, uh, the movement. Rita is harvesting. Anyway, looking for ores... More scrap metal in there. More of... Let's get... Oh. 
while we're looking for ores, let's plant some of this stuff. Let's do that. But let's get these first ones harvested. Orders, harvest. And let's get a good supply of these on our shelves. These and these. Uh, harvest. Smoke leaf. Okay. And was there another patch nearby? Can we harvest these again? Uh, collect all harvest right in here. We can. So let's get those harvested. And I guess while we're at it, let's just kind of finish off the rest of these. Lost harvest. Following plants have lost their yield and are no longer harvestable. Take me to it. What does that mean? Have we aged? Harvest is 62%. Growth is... Growth rate 120. I'm not certain I know what that means. Hmm. So, if I were to cancel you, and then I were to just do the harvest part... It highlights it automatically. It's not asking me whether I really want to do that or not. I'm not sure what that meant. That was interesting. But I, what? Oh, these guys are not ready to harvest. Okay. Or are they? Hay, use, and grain cobs, cut. There is no harvest yet for those. Okay. And these do need to be picked up, I'm guessing, or they're going to go bad. Or Our shelf life is already starting to fail on them. That's why the transport's where it is. Lost 10 now. I'm not sure what that means. We're not... We're... 70 degrees is not hot. Outdoors. Huh. I don't know what it's trying to tell me. Falling plants have lost their yield and no longer harvestable. So, are we saying that there is a time limit on these and if we don't get them harvested, we're going to lose them? Because they only harvest in the spring? I don't know. Rita, what you doing? You are eating. Let's wait till you're done eating. Well fed, so you must be just about there. Yeah, you just finished. And as soon as that triggers, you're taking a walk as it is, or was, walk time. Okay, we'll let you all get your walks. That's right, from 13 to... 13 to 15, so 1,300 hours and 1,400 hours. Let's let them get their, their relaxation in. And then I think, can anyone besides Rita do that? Anybody have, I mean, even at zero they can do it, but harvest. Paulette a little bit, Carter a little bit. We're kind of done with our walks. Rita is transporting. Rita, come on over and harvest these. And Paulette, come on over and harvest these. Uh, let's go over there. Let's do that again. Paulette, I wanted to separate this into two groups and as I clicked on this one it grabbed half of that group. But if I go right over there and say harvest those, then I can get Carter to come over here and harvest these. And that gets us three main groups of them in. And we can at least get those in storage. Okay, we'll do that. So I don't understand why we're losing these leaves like that. What that's trying to tell me. Some kind of timer is going off or some condition is being uh, not being met. Anyway, Simon is busy researching. I need him to research ore. We're doing both of these. Let's, now that our eating is done, Simon, food is fine, and his he's got a little bit of relaxation into him, had a pleasant walk. Let's send you across the map instead. You can do this, you know, before bed and after you get up, but it's going to take you longer to get over here and deal with this. So observe the interesting rock. And still, let's think about where else can we find these. That's what I was doing when that message came up. I don't see any more in here. So up top, those are all rocks. Rocks. Yeah, those are all rocks. There's no ore in there. 
Let's drop down the hill. Ooh. That wasn't the one I observed first episode. We got one closer by than I thought. And it's like a double. I think it is. I think it's two different nests that have... Uh, it's two different kinds of trees. Yeah. These guys do not look nice. Ooh. Uh-huh. They got a rattle to their... Their shells. Yeah. Oh, very well drawn, I will say that. Um... That's a log. Still looking for ores. What's in this mess over here? Still just rocks. Yeah, ores have got a lot of brown to them. Rocks are all very light colored. We don't have a lot of ore nearby. That's a little worrisome. Nothing in here. Those are all rocks as well. There is some. Can I mark all of these to be mined? Interesting rocks. I cannot. But let's remember, where are we? From home. Alright, so right out this valley. Where is that from our house? Our homestead. So actually, it's quite a ways away. It is. What's over here? You are interesting rocks. Okay, so we do have some ore nearby. Okay. So researching, and it's going to take a while. So it's going to take two days to do this. I can't leave you out here all night. We're at 1900. When we hit 20 hundred, let's send him off to go do something else. All right, when is bedtime? First of all, how you doing? You're doing okay. But when is bedtime on this? We've got schedule set for 2300. We're at 19. Let's let you go into 2100. That way you've got time to walk back. And I just heard that rumble again. Anyway... Maybe that is just a feature from here on out. Or maybe something's happening out in the hallway outside my studio. I don't know. Uh, 20 hundred. We'll go a little bit further with Simon. It looks like it's going to take him all day tomorrow to finish off that. But we do need the ore. No point in having the, the furnace if we don't have anything to put in it. I really don't want to blow all of our scrap metal on that if I can help it. Carter. Yeah, there's that rumble. Carter is scavenging. Um, let's have Carter take down one or two more trees throughout the, before we go to bed. Can I get in there and cut big tree? So you do that, and yeah, let's call Simon home. All right, so he thinks he's going to be researching, but by the time he gets here, he'll realize it's time to go to bed. Okay, well, we've got our structure built. Which means there will be no more shooting targets from here. So that problem is gone. And there'll be no more shooting targets from the garden. Well, there could be. Yeah, there still could be. So let's run this out one more fence. Uh, copy. Put you to there. And uh, cancel. Copy. You to there. I can't tell what that is. Oh, I put it in the wrong place. Okay, yeah, we'll do one more. Copy there to there. Okay, so that finishes that area. And Carter is making more supplies for that. He took out the one tree, he's moved into the next one. Can we get him to do one more? 2200? He's transporting logs. Now, if you're willing to bring them all home, I. Um, I'll be thankful for that. Yeah, you do that. No, that's right. I had only, I had only three trees queued up, so he did do just the one. Okay, and we have logs in there. Can I get any more to queue up? Nope, just the three. I'll cut all you guys. Any more logs down there on the ground? It automatically grabs a cluster of within a certain distance of each other, which is kind of nice. You don't have to do. The entire screen's worth of fallen logs that way. Though I have gotten used to some games when they when they do that of just zooming in and then double clicking and just getting the logs to show up on this screen. But like right now, if I were to click double click on a tree, 
it won't do every tree on the map it just does this this one area which is nice you are a 30 cut you you are not what is obviously a 30 you kind of boy you're bouncing all over try you you're a 23 23 what looks big enough there you're no you're a 27 ah do you anyway Could just randomly click all over the place do we want that first one i think not i think i want to run new trees along here at some point so we'll leave him alone but that gives us some more wood queued up and what do we got we're starting to go to sleep carter's grabbing a meal with simon it always seems to be these two at the end and they usually have some snide comment about each other simon how are you doing a few fun things to do. Yeah, I know. Is there anything else that I could pop up? We Metal alloy is going to open up a lot of things for us. We do have a wedding arch. We do have a wedding arch. Is this a place to have a wedding? Just in case somebody surprises us and announces that they like each other. That is kind of an exotic background, looking through through the arch. Once this tree is gone right here, let's do that. We'll set up a wedding arch right over there, and eh, just for fun. That'll be, we'll try not to. Let me zoom out a little and spin. Yeah, that won't get into our home at all. I think we're going to go two more bedrooms back over. Eh, it just might. Let's cancel that. Uh, I should have copied it and move it more toward uh, here. And we may move it again. We have a much better place thought up later. But furniture, wedding arch, R, and. So, there's a sphere of influence around it. Maybe that's where they will collect and you know group together for the event i don't want to take down all those plants yeah we'll see uh we researched antibiotic production that's right we did because we were working on the uh, uh furnace next so does it tell us what we need it gave us it unlocks a wooden fermentation barrel and scrap metal fermentation barrel and antibiotics so what production there it is okay fermentation barrels let's do that one two takes 25 logs ouch we'll do just the two for now and yeah let's let's see what happens let's get that going do i need to tell her to harvest this no, she has to get rid of all of her transportation jobs in order to get to harvesting. That's right. And we do need those transportation jobs to happen. All of that smoke leaf that they went out to get. I see this stuff sitting here, and you can highlight it. Is there anything... Where were the smoke leaf plants? They were kind of up in here. Those are all rocks. And they were kind of down in here. Let me see it again from up above. It seems like there was a patch here. There was a patch somewhere in here. That's where it was. And it was further down into there. I remember that now. So they did apparently bring it in. If they brought it in, where did they put it? Have They've already hung it. Well, look at that. Nice. That means we need to get those pipes going. But I couldn't put the get the pipes going because it... What was the reason? Crap pipes, I thought I... Because we hadn't collected dried smoke leaf. Okay. So one of, something here needs to dry. Is there any sense of a timer? Yes, there is. So 4%. Alright, in a couple of days we'll be able to make pipes. <laughs> we'll be able to sit them all, or watch them all sitting around the table smoking their pipes. Yeah. Should we give them chairs to sit somewhere else? Sit by the fire. That's kind of interesting. wonder if that is a thing. 
Um, furniture. Chair. That is the only chair available to us right now. So we could... So they enter from there. I guess that means they're facing the green arrow? Could be. Let's try that there. That there. And that there. And that there. We'll see if that works. Can Do I get an arrow when I click on... I don't. Hmm. We'll see. If they're all sitting backwards, we'll know I did something wrong. But um, maybe they'll sit by the fire. Maybe that'll give them another happiness bonus. We'll find out. Handling torches. We need the handling done. So Paulette is kind of taking care of headquarters. Rita is transporting materials to get this built. Though I'd much rather you transported what you're... Well, what does this take to build? It takes logs. You're transporting sticks. Um, you're picking them up to take home? Let's find out. Have I been recording for an hour? Almost? Wow. Transporting two to reload? Well, you did. So you're... Transporting counts toward handling, apparently. Can you just bring the rest home? No, you can't. you got to go refuel things. Okay. Well, we'll watch this happen and probably wind this episode down a bit. Starting to get this build. Maybe next episode we can finish off the walls on this guy and start thinking about what's happening right here. I'm thinking um, common space here and either storage or workroom over here and then two more bedrooms over here, hallway. Maybe a fifth bedroom and we'll just, uh, you know, we'll, we'll plan on finding a fifth person someday and just pre-build for them, but... We'll see. The roof goes in the way I want to build the roof in sections from this direction going or this side going that way. So I want to get the roof over this part of it. And then we'll build another section and continue the roof and then decide if there is a final section and build that roof. But Rita is transporting dropping off and is she going to get to work on something? I kind of want her to do though. She's bringing in Okay, just bring in all the supplies. In fact, Paulette, you could kind of do that too. You are. You're bringing in... What do you suppose that is? It's not butter squash. It's not tobacco leaves. Is that what the grain cob looks like? That might be. There might be grain cob still sitting around here somewhere. Huh. Grain cob for porridge. That's the porridge symbol. Okay. You went out there to get your to get the grain cob. Oh, she told us what they were transporting. It just says they're transporting, but there's no quantities or more details. Yeah. Anyway, I've had a little too much fun with this episode. Metal refinement, and he's transporting. Metal refinement. What time is it? Noon? All right. Next episode, we'll get them through their, their relaxation afternoon break, and then we'll send Simon back out there to continue researching. This is closer, isn't it? This is closer. Let's remember to observe this. Observation is already active. I'll just let it sit right there, close this episode, and hopefully will remind me to come back to here next time. I'll save it at this point. Anyway, it's been Noble Rambler, and thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.